can ask your, <clears throat> ask your operator about that. But look at the size of this. This tiny little device, powerful little device, is going to be the shred, cut, dice, you name it, for $29.95. This is where that prep time is cut down like that and making sure that you're going ahead and eating, getting everything done so quickly. I'm going to bring in Mr. John Florell. Welcome. Hello, Jeff. How are you? You well? <laughs> Everything's great. I'll tell you what, this is like a little uh, prep station for your kitchen. Uh, a mini chopper that's so small, look at this, like my hand covers up almost the entire thing. <laughs> okay, that's how small it is. But everybody's got those big food processors that, uh, you know, take up so much room you have to store them in the garage somewhere and then bring them out when you need them. This is one you're gonna use every day. One touch, all you do is touch the button on top, it turns it on, release the button, it turns it off. You can do so much with this. The container, okay, comes off like this. It comes with the whipping blade. You get the chopping blade. And with this, uh, and it also has another feature that I can't wait to show you. But let me show you how it works for chopping first. One of the biggest, most popular condiments in the country, in the world, I think, is salsa. Yeah, we love right? it down. And if you've never made it fresh yourself, now you can do it. You, can, uh, you know, for a family of four, whatever it is, watch this because we've put all the ingredients in here already. We've got our salt, we've got our cilantro, we've got our, our uh, uh, tomatoes, we've got onions, we've got bell pepper. And all you do is touch the button. If you like thick and chunky salsa, you release the button early, you get thick and chunky salsa. If you want it fine, if you want to puree your salsa for chips, for uh, throwing over, uh, maybe you're making chicken uh, enchiladas and you want to add salsa to the top of your chicken enchiladas. You can take this down. The longer you press the button, the finer it chops. And I want you to see this. I just held it down for a few seconds there. Take a look at this. We're going to remove the blades. These stainless steel chopping blades, okay, they cut just about everything, all right? They'll go through just about everything. And look how quick and easy. We just made a bowl of salsa fresh, okay? And here's the difference. I want you to see the difference between fresh and here's what we mo most of us do. We go to the store, buy it like this, mm -hmm. okay? Preservatives, additives, you don't know what's in there. This, you know exactly what's inside your salsa. And you want to see the, a fresh salsa? Look at the difference in color. Can you yeah. see the difference Look, there? The, the biggest telling thing is going to be the difference in fresh. flavor. And Jeff, if you right? try that, I mean, That's if fun. you like it mild, we made it mild, but take a jalapeno, a half a jalapeno. If you take the seeds out, mm. it'll be like a medium. If you leave the seeds in the jalapeno, mm. you'll get fiery hot salsa, and you'll love it. Now, the difference in flavor is key. Oh, because when you sure. make it and make it fresh and make it so quickly, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, and, and the flavors infuse. And here's the thing. This is the coolest part about this, because you can do the smallest job, but maybe you want to mince a clove of garlic, or, and you can do one clove, clove of garlic if you like. You want to mince garlic, it's done that quick. Or, you can do a whole handful if you like, okay? Do, get the job done quick for larger recipes. This little tool saves you so much time in the kitchen. And again, if you like it chunky, you stop. If you like it fine, you let the blade keep doing its work. But I want you to see this, because look at this. I mean, you want to talk about consistency, and look at, oh, look at, can you smell that, Jeff? How, how long <laughs> I mean, would it take you? I don't, I don't know how many cloves you just put in there, but how long would it take <laughs> you to cut them up? And then as consistently as that. Exactly. That's exactly right. Now, I'll tell you what, here's the difference, though. And it comes with the whipping blade. I mentioned that earlier. I've got some heavy whipping cream here, okay? Again, all we're going to do is touch the button. This does the job for you. Here, let me move these aside so, you the so you guys can see. You get the whipping blade as the, well. The whipping blade that's in here, you'll see it. It's the one with the it's holes in it. Okay? Yep. It's a little paddle. You t put the lid on. You close it. Now, I must mention, there is a safety feature to this. If the lid is not put on properly, you can't turn this on. Yeah, good. Okay? So it's safe. Yep. Now, you snap and the no lid mess. in place, and look at this. Watch how quick and fast. You can make whipping cream. In fact, here, let's do something different, okay? You can make whipping cream quick and easy. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, chocolate sauce. Yes, We're gonna do a chocolate mousse real quick here, okay? And just to show you how quick and fast this happens. So everything's just at regular machine, temperature? Uh, you can, uh, cold, it works okay. out. Good for yep. whipping cream, okay? But look, you'll get the consistency that you like by holding this button down. The longer you hold it down, the thicker it's gonna come out. 
the more, con and it's com but it's completely consistent, and that's the best part about this. You tap that button, it does the work for you. Watch this, because look, I mean, look how look fast. Look at this. And look at the consistency I mean, this of this whipping cream. What is 150 cream. watts, right? <laughs> it's 150 watts of power, and it's made by Kitchen Master, okay? If you're not familiar with Kitchen Master brand, we've oh, been here at, at HSN for, uh, oh, I don't know, five or six years now. Check out the website. Check out hsn.com. Look at all of our uh, the, the kitchen tools that we have. Look at the different, look, I mean, how quick and easy is that? I tell and you here's what. the best part, and this is what's going to save you time, Jeff. This is one of the best cheese graters and the fastest cheese graters. It's a it's like a mini food processor. Watch what I'm going to do. Inside here, we have, we also have a different a lid, okay? This lid is your chopping lid. Most food processors, you, especially with mini choppers like this, you're confined to what you can fit into the bowl or into the container. With this one, because of the chute and because of the special design, watch this. This, okay, now turns your food processor into a grater or a slicer. You snap the lid on, watch this. Here, I'll put a, a block of cheese in here, and all you do is push the button. Oh, wow. And you can grate cheese right over your... No way. Oh, yeah. And with the plunger, your fingers never get close to the cutting blades. So if you have one of those old four-sided tin can knuckle buster graters that everybody has at home, right? Now you don't have to worry about busting your nails or knuckles. You can grate pounds of cheese with this in minutes instead of sitting there with that, uh, you know, that old <laughs> board grater. All right? I mean, look at the mound of cheese that we just did. Whether it's hard cheese, soft cheese, 150 watts of power gets the job done in seconds. I you mean, know what's <laughs> funny though too, if you ever go if you ever go to the grocery store, they actually charge you a premium for Look grated cheese. Oh I know. Right? Now you can do it yourself. Now you can do it yourself. Now yeah. color wise, we've got <laughs> the blue, we have the white, we have the red, we have the black, we have the green. I have under 150 now remaining in the green. Your flex pay, because we've gone in this, this uh, the holiday weekend very early. We're doing free delivery Three flex pays of eleven dollars and sixty-five cents. Wow! <laughs> wow! Eleven sixty-five. I know. Here, I'll tell you what. Here's the best part about this that I think. Okay, this grater that we just showed you, when you flip this blade over and place it back on here, now becomes a slicer. So now you can place this on top, put the lid on, and watch the difference. Because now you want to talk about getting the job done quick. All you do is press the button, and look at this. Look how we're, fast we're, it is. We're slicing carrots right into the salad bowl. Yeah. I mean, did you blink? Go. Hang on Seriously, a second. Seriously, just go, go, go. Look how fast this <laughs> Let does me do it. this with a cucumber. Look at you want to slice cucumbers right into the bowl, now you can slice cucumbers directly into a salad bowl. All you do is push the button, the machine does the work for you. With that 150 watts of power, you can slice, you can chop, you can, look at this. All you do is press down, the machine does the work for you. Quick, safe, fast, easy. It does way more work than those big, heavy food processors without half, with half the time to clean up because you don't want to have to drag out all those parts and pieces. Now you can do it quick, safe, fast, and easy. Look at the, look at the size <laughs> of this. Look at the size of this food processor. Because when, look, John, when, when people says food processor, yep. you think, okay, I'm going to need a trailer to, to right. tow it, right? <laughs> right. You know, That's it's, exactly it's right. It's a huge, look at the size of this. 150 watts, one, one press the button. It won't turn on unless the, 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 uh, the lid is on locked in. Then you got, You've got the whipping blade, you've got the serrated blade, you've got the slicing, dicing, and grating. You've got it all yeah. for less than $30. And a time saver. You know, cooking doesn't take time in the kitchen, Jeff. No. It's the preparation it's the prep. of the food, right? Absolutely. And if you're sitting there on your cutting board with a knife trying to slice up your veggies for a salad, now you can do it right into the bowl. So, again, instead of just, uh, you know, everything going into this small container, now with the chute, you can do huge amounts. I mean, you can make bucket loads. You can grate cheese by the by the bucket load. But, John, you, John if you, you think can, about this time of year, it's for soups and stews. That's oh, sure. I mean, you get, you know, it's the slicing, dicing, cutting, chopping, yep. getting that all done. As long as it fits in the hopper, you're going to cut it. it up. That's it. And it does the work for you. With the 150 watts of power, this does the work. It's it's like having your own little sous chef in the kitchen. $29.95. We've got three flex pays. Remember, that's credit card, debit card, even PayPal. We're going to send it straight out to you. Okay, right now, the green, I have under 100 now remaining. I'll tell you what, here's the power, 150 watts of power. We're gonna put some uh, some heavy cream, okay, 
or whipping cream, and strawberries, frozen strawberries right out of the freezer, okay? And with that 150 watts of power, okay, we're actually making ice cream right before your eyes. Again, the longer you hold down on the button, okay, the smoother, the creamier it becomes. You can, if you like it a little bit uh, less consistent, you can do that. If you like chunks of strawberry in your ice cream, or if you want it rich, creamy, smooth, and delicious, leave your finger on that button. The longer you press down on the button, the smoother it becomes. And I just want to show you this real quick. And how, how much time did that take? Less than 30 L seconds? Less than 30 with, seconds. With frozen fruit of your choice, I, I have strawberries here, but you could do this with mango. You could do this with, uh, with any berries, blackberries, cherry ice cream. Frozen right out of the freezer. And again, John, you're, you're, you're in total control as the ingredients. <laughs> That's exactly you know, right. I know that a lot of people have you know intolerances Fresh to, to preservatives and things like that, especially with kids, right? Yeah. Now, Here, Jeff. they don't have to... Thank you, John. you got to try this. Thank you, you John. you got to try that. You don't have to be deprived. Right? Fresh ice cream made in the mini chopper with frozen berries right out of the fridge. And it's so smooth. No preservatives, no additives. There's no extra sugar, okay? It just, it, I mean, you know what? it doesn't get much better like than that. Like the salsa before, <laughs> that's what strawberry ice cream should taste like. You should taste strawberries. You're not, you're not tasting some synthetic that's wannabe, right. right? That's right. Genuine strawberries, right? Straight out of the freezer with whipping cream. Hey presto, you're done. Right. You're getting, remember you're getting the whipping blade with this as well. So if you are doing just like that, we're getting the serrated blade. Plus you're getting the grater all inclusive for less than $30. Now, I've got, I've got uh, roasted peanuts, okay? A little bit of oil, mm. a little bit of honey if you like. These are honey roasted peanuts, so I didn't add any honey. Just a tablespoon of oil. The peanuts themselves, okay, the oils come out with that. When that chopping blade hits these nuts, it actually releases the natural oils from the nuts. And now we're making peanut butter from, raw, from, from basically from peanuts. There's no added preservatives, no added anything other than peanuts. You can make almond butter, cashew butter. Use the, the nuts that you choose, and it's fresh. You want to talk about a quick, healthy afternoon snack for your kids? This is the this is the way to do it. And again, no mess. I mean, you've got this little bowl, and here I tell you, he, Jeff, you got it. Oh, no, I know you're, I know you're into the, the ice cream. cream. Hang on. Have you ever tried fresh peanut butter homemade? <laughs> no, but I'm about okay? to. With no preservatives, no, no. additives. Just Try that. Like you'll be amazed mm. at, at the flavor <laughs> because it's the fresh. The flavor. Yes. That is amazing. And again, with 150 watts of power. Here, you know what this is? This is horseradish, okay? Is it really? A lot of people don't realize horseradish, okay? You want to make your own cocktail sauce? Horseradish, you're going to love this. Fresh. You want to talk about flavor? You want to talk about aroma? You want to talk about... Talk about the power, okay? 150 watts of power. With one finger, we're grinding fresh horseradish root to as fine a consistency as you like, all right? You wanna add to it? You, now, you can add your own uh, ingredients. A little bit of ketchup, okay? That's all you need. Uh, if you wanna add some garlic to it, you can do that. But all you do is push that one button, and again, with that safety feature, the lid goes on that one way, push the button, now we're making fresh Fabulous. cocktail sauce, right at home, quick, safe, fast, easy, and look, I mean, it's done in a matter of seconds. We're down to about 50 remaining in the green right now for less than $30, for <laughs> under $30. In fact, for less than a few dollars, you can, I mean, seriously, to be able to get it at home and use it and put it to the test. If you've watched this demonstration so far, we've done salsa, we've done dessert, we've done the grating the cheese, we did the, the slicing and dicing the vegetables. We did, the, we did the peanut butter, we did the dessert, we did the beautiful, you know, the cocktail sauce, and now... Homemade hummus. Homemade hummus. I mean, chickpeas, a little roasted uh, bell, uh, pepper, and all you do is push the button. Look at the difference, though. I want you to see the difference. This is store-bought hummus, okay? Yep. yep. Look at fresh. And you want to talk about a difference in flavor. When you make hummus yourself, no preservatives, no additives. Again, you can tell by the color alone. But once you taste this, it's amazing. You, 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 you're doing the creating here. The you're flavor, different. the, the machine texture. just helps you do it quickly. As it should be. You know, if you think about the past 10 years especially, the focus that's been on home cooking, the competitions, you know, the wannabe chefs, all those sorts right. of things put in. Now you've got a way of being able to truly go ahead 
and create those those beautiful dishes as you want. To, because it's a huge processor. We all know that you can get those massive processors, but they say, where do I keep it? Where am I going to store it? Right. I mean, this is tiny. It's like the size of like a, a coffee grinder or a, or a coffee pot. I mean, it's absolutely nothing. But look how quickly. Look at this. We've filled this salad bowl in a matter of seconds. I'm doing radishes right now, which normally you would sit there with a paring knife on your countertop or your right. cutting board. It takes forever. Look at how quick and easy. We just did like a dozen radishes into this bowl. Perfect. All the slices come out the same. Because you push it through that blade, it, the machine Consistent. does the work for you. There you go. Soups, <laughs> stews, hummus, desserts, you name it. John, thank you so very oh, much. Thank you.